All right, so I'm gonna do my mealworms. I have a potato. I use this little can strainer to uh, sift them. And this funny little chopping knife thing to chop my potatoes. I don't know why, don't need it. Any knife will do. I just happen to have this and I just threw it in my bin that I keep my stuff in. And a little container for uh, the mealworms so I can dump them out and give them to my chickens. Not my chickens, my quail. I'm used to saying chickens. All right. So we'll look at this first box. I'm supposed to use three bi three bins, but I use two. Looks pretty good. Um, the little darkling beetles hang on to the to the food, so I just wipe them off. These kind of dry out. This is their food um, and their moisture. Just a potato. open them up and make sure there's no beetles inside so I don't throw them away. When I clean them out, I put the potatoes on a little tray so that they, uh, you know, a little cover to a bin so it sits on top. But as they get in there and they eat, they mix it up. And then what I do is I sift them, separate the beetles out, Actually, I'm looking and I don't really see a lot of worms. Oh yeah, let's see. They've been in here for about two weeks. And so what I do is I leave all the beetles in here, let them lay eggs and let them hatch and then pull all the beetles out. But I'm not really seeing a lot of itty bitty worms. So this bin, I might actually just leave, let these guys do a little bit more work in here. So I'll just give them a fresh um, potato. This potato looks pretty crummy. Yeah. Yep. I think I'm gonna use a new potato. All right. I'm going to swap out the potato after. That one looks pretty weird. These guys get to stay and keep working. And these guys are pretty gross. Uh, they've been in here for a while. Oh, they're, the worms, as they grow, they shed a layer of skin. So there's a lot of layers in here. So this bin is pretty much done. It's really gross and, and junky. There's not, um, they've eaten through almost all of the bran, the wheat bran that is their bedding. Uh, sometimes I'll put oats in their bedding, but these guys have pretty much used everything that's usable in here already. I might just dump this whole bin into the quail house um, because there's really nothing to save here. Sometimes I will go through and just sift them out and add a little bit more of the wheat bran and then a new potato and then just put them right back in. But this bin looks pretty spent. So I'm just gonna take the yucky potatoes out and dump this entire bin into the quail house and then set it up again for new, um, new beetles so that they can start making new mealworms.
All right, so I got most of the darkling beetles. Um, I took them all out of the first bin um, and put them in here so that they can start laying eggs in here. Right now, this is a fresh bin, so this will take a while for all of the eggs to hatch once they finally start laying them. But this bin here has been sitting for uh, about two weeks and I let all the, the beetles do their thing, lay their eggs and let them grow. So I don't see many tiny ones. I see a couple of really tiny ones in there. So they've got to grow a little bit longer. And then it starts the whole cycle over again. It's supposed to have three bins. Um, once these guys lay all their eggs, so in about two weeks, I'll go ahead and switch these guys out. I should put them into another bin and then have this one. But what I'm going to do is just let this first one grow out uh, quite a while, probably four weeks. Wheat bran is their food, but the potatoes are their moisture. And then I'll go put these back in my bathroom and cover them up as they like the dark. And start the whole process over again.